it is another Monday video, another week of spending for you guys to be nosy and watch and laugh at me for what I spend my money <laughs> because I laugh at myself. And I also have Happy Mail. I went shopping on Etsy this weekend and I just want to share some of my printables because printables don't always get shared for Happy Mail, but it still makes me happy when it comes into my inbox. <laughs> So let's just get right on into Happy Mail because who wants to wait, really? All right. First one up, Yahtzee. I love this game. Um, Janelle Ray Budgets is the one who sells it. Uh, some of you guys don't put your names on your shops, so I made sure to write them so that I can reference it. <laughs> but essentially, you play it just like you would Yahtzee. You roll the dice three times. You try to figure out the way to um, create the highest score. And then you save that amount. So if I were to get a Yahtzee, five of a kind, I would score a 50 and I would save $50. If I rolled three twos, that would be $6 and I would save $6. So I'm really excited to do this one. Um, you can print it as an A6. I printed mine as just a full sheet just so it made it bigger so you could see. And I'm super excited. <laughs> Check out her shop. She has other stuff too, but this one caught my attention. I had to get it. Okay, next up, we have Madeline Budgets. And I bought three of them from her. I should just turn all these. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I bought three of them. And, well, technically two, but she gives you a, a girl version and a boy version. Did I print the girl version twice? Okay, well, <laughs> there is a boy version. I apparently printed the girl version twice. But I think it's super cute. It's all about video games. I can use this for my nieces and nephews. I can use it for myself for board game nights to save. Or what I'm actually thinking of doing is using this to save money for my husband. Just so that um, if we want to do, if I want to buy him something special. So I'm still thinking about the use of it, but I thought this was adorable. It has classic games, new games. I just love it. And this is Madeline Budgets. Again, she doesn't put her name on there, so I had to write it so I can reference it. And she also did this awesome Save 2023 and 2023, which you see these floating around. But I like the simplicity of it. It's just boxes of random numbers. I'm not having to do them in some sequential order. I can just kind of fill it in when I can. And obviously it says 52 weeks, so you're supposed to pick one box per week. But say you get paid bi-weekly and maybe you do two boxes every two weeks. like, Or once a month, I just go ham on it. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm excited to incorporate this one. And that also is from Madeline Budgets. And then... Another shop that I looked at is a brand new shop. This is from the Almost Organized Owl. That's her YouTube channel. Her Etsy shop is named, actually I'll throw it on the screen right now. Future Tracy, take care of that. <laughs> but this one is a 20 envelope savings. This is what I mean. So her printing is gorgeous if you look on the website. And if you do a black and white printing, it's a little bit more muted, but it's still it still works. So for those that don't have color printing, this is what it would look like. <laughs> but I love it because it's 20 envelopes and there's five, 10, simple. Then you get to these higher numbers and say you don't have enough to fill $70 or $95. She made little icons in there so that you can save a little bit as you go. So $5 for this little tiki drink, $20 for a palm tree, $5 for this base the sand <laughs> do you see what I mean though like you can save a little bit towards that bigger goal by coloring the different icons on the envelopes and again if you print this in color it's gonna be gorgeous <laughs> if you print it in black and white I'm gonna make this gorgeous <laughs> but this is the almost organized owl she's a brand new shop check her out um budget by the bag has this particular play a playlist savings challenge for free on for the creator and I had to have it <laughs> I was like I've been playing so many playlists I might as well track them I'm only going to save a dollar because I am playing so many playlists for people 
these are the ones I know that I played so far. I was trying to rack my brain when I printed it off, but I'm going to keep going with it and I'm just going to keep marking it. If I do a dollar, it's 15 on each side. I'll save $30 and then I can print another one and print another one. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? But in our budgeting community, we try to help each other out and play the playlist because we need watch hours. Um, for those that are already monetized, if you have the playlist running, they'll at least get credit for ads. So that's how you get paid. Um, it's just, it's helpful. And I love being able to track it. So I was excited for this one. And then when I was on her site on For the Creator, I also found this birthday one. And I color part of the hat and save the amount. It's very simple. It's a $300 one, but the increments aren't so bad for me. <laughs> Maybe you have to do like stripes and work your way towards the higher amounts. Whatever you want to do, you can decorate this how you want. But I thought it was super cute. We have my husband and my birthday are both in like spring, summer-ish, end of spring, early summer. And I was like, oh, I could start saving for our birthdays now. <laughs> so I got that one too. And then I checked out the Thrifty Sewers shop. And she is also brand new. Um... She has so many good stuff on there. Again, this one in color, you're going to have red and black, and it's going to look very casino, awesome. It's a great way to incorporate a deck of cards. So if I were to draw a spade, I move a space forward, a club, I move two back. So you're going to keep playing this until you get to the end. But some things are going to push you back and forward, etc. And the amounts, one, two, three, four, five, like nothing higher than $5.00 genius <laughs> i think this is amazing so this one is from her shop this is me printing in black and white this is not a color but on hers it's gorgeous but in comparison so i also got this one from her i sent this one to the print shop because i wanted it to be in color so there's the difference like it, when they're in color they are beautiful so same with this one gorgeous however i don't always want to send them to the printer because it's a little bit more expensive but some of these challenges merit printing <laughs> in color for me this was one of them like can you imagine my lumberjack and hanging out with the bear in the woods and they come across each other like I have a whole story <laughs> but you pay a dollar for each paw that you pass and then as you hit different obstacles you pay a little bit higher amount um, but nothing is like too outrageous five seven three eight very doable at the end you pay ten dollars because you celebrate that you made it but two different things from her shop just showing the difference if you print them in black and white versus color oh she has some really good stuff so check out all these shops i just wanted to share some of the things that i've been buying from a printable standpoint because they're still happy mail in my email box you get, you get it you get it <laughs> okay this i bought I am like prepping for next year and I have been tempted for a long time with Snow Gardener 307. I watch her budget channel, but she has two channels and I've been wanting her like sticker monthly layouts for a long time. And I decided, you know what? I need more of those little stickers to track my spending. And I was, while I was in there, I was like, Ooh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> So I bought a December one, and you'll see why, but it's super cute. But Snow Gardener 307 Budgets, she has 2.11 thousand subscribers. She is one, watch your ads, that's how she gets paid. Um, her name's Marlene, she's awesome. <laughs> Happy mail, that cute little sticker. So what did I get? Is that everything? Okay. Oh, that's just my packing slip, you don't need that. So Tracy, thank you so much for your order. I really hope that you love your stickers. I threw in some extra freebies that hopefully brighten your day. So 307 Design Studio, that's the Etsy shop name. And then Snow Gardener 307 Budgets or Snow Gardener 307 are her two YouTube channels. But how cute. This is what I was like. Ah. <laughs> I love gnomes. And I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is this? And I'm hoping I'll get more no spends. <laughs> November was not so great. But these little red trackers, so this is what I bought. I bought pages of these red trackers. 
or not just red, but multiple colors. And she threw in three red ones. And I was like, okay, for December, that's perfect. So I'm Christmas shopping. I can mark all my Christmas spends with these red ones. And then there's like little hollies, bildu. You got the days of the week, so you can shift it if you need to. You got the numbers, so you can overlay them if you need to. And then these are the stickers that I actually bought. So this is what brought me to our site. I was like, I need these tracking stickers. <laughs> And then I ended up with more things, but it's a pack of random different colors. So there is blue and this pretty teal, green, light green, purple, pink, orange, and gray. So my goal is to sign different categories such as grocery, gas, bars and restaurants because you all know I do that a lot um donations etc as a different color so I can start to like actually track categories a little bit better the stickers I'm using right now are from Erin Condren and they're just freebies that I got with my work planner and I'm running out of the colors so I don't have enough colors for the certain categories and it's just becoming a mess so I was like I'm gonna get more organized <laughs> But how cute that December spread, isn't it gorgeous? And then all these little tracker stickers. Oh, I can't wait to try them out. They got a cool feel to them. Now, what did we get for freebies? Because I love freebies. You guys love freebies. Everyone loves freebies. So her logo. Oh, a little Santa. Oh, I like the vintage look too. Ooh, blue stickers. So you could change another thing. Change the dates around. No spends in... Is that snowflakes? Do you see? Yeah, snowflakes. How cute. So maybe in January. So I wanted to test this out. If I really, really like it, I might buy another one for January, etc. Whoopsie. <laughs> that may come in handy. <laughs> More build new stickers. Oh, these piggies are super cute. And then there's my note. How cute are these little piggies, though? Maybe I should track like savings challenges or something with that, but I am so excited. So that was my happy mail from Snow Gardener 307. Yay! <laughs> and then, so I already shopped on the Thrifty Sewers Etsy store. And then I get a package in the mail <laughs> from her. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And I was like, ooh, more goodies. Like, hopefully I didn't double dip. We'll see, because I haven't opened this yet. She has 259 subs. Go follow her. She does budgeting, and she also does sewing. So she kind of mixes and mingles the two. And let's see what we got, because I don't know. <laughs> Do you ever see, like, mail going out to multiple people, and you're, like, watching and going, hmm, I wonder if that's in my package? <laughs> That was her for me. I was like, ooh, Liz got one. I wonder what's in hers. Tracy, you are my favorite channels to watch. Oh, one of mine. Oh, no, I am your favorite. <laughs> so I want to send you some happy mail to brighten your day. Yes. Um, I hope you enjoy the freebies. Thank you so much for the warm welcome into this community. Keep on laughing. Wendy from the Thrifty Sewist. Yay. Okay, let's, should we do the big one? Mega multipliers. So scratch offs, I love scratch offs. Um, choose an amount and multiply by whatever you scratch. So say I pick $10 and the multipliers are between one and 10. So say I scratch off a four, I'm gonna do four times 10, so $40. So if you're low income, you could say a dollar and then the max you're gonna have is 10. If you want to go real big, you can say $10, and then your max is going to be $100. Wow, is it? <laughs> this one could get a little uh, a little sassy. <laughs> yes, blue snowflake. I love blue. I love blue. It's my favorite color. And I like the snow, and I like snowflakes. Like This is my whole winter vibe. <laughs> so snowy, day, snowy savings, $80. 
love it scratch off and it'll be 80 bucks at the end how cute is this okay more stuff look at this fancy envelope oh, leftover loot yay that's so cute i wanted that one so bad <laughs> <laughs> okay i know what these are too so this is just a little mini scratcher so one little guy and then these are bonus um scratch off savings so at any time i could just whip one of these out and be like i just want to have a bonus savings for that envelope or i could just do these as a collection and then once i get through five of them i'm done with my savings challenge I don't know how much is on each one, but they're just little scratch off money cards, little bonus cards. Super cute. I'm curious to know how many are in the, like how much is under, like what's the range? I don't know. They're mysteries. <laughs> and this one, I love this one. I think it gets so cute. Is it an envelope? Nope, just a dashboard. Okay, so you'll use your own envelope. This is a dashboard and it's just you got a few le bucks left over save it in here so if you do all your savings challenges and you're down to like one two three dollars and you're looking at all your challenges thinking none of these are going to be that low throw it in the leftover loot how cute little piggy in the bags yes <laughs> i love it so that's my happy mail super cute check out thrifty Sewa's shop um check out all the shops and Thank you, guys. <laughs> My addiction continues. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I'm going to finish all these, but I will find a way. I promise. Okay. Now for the main event. What did Tracy spend money on? <laughs> okay, well, a little bit more eating out again, but not as bad. We did better. Okay, we did better. Uh, we started off Sunday with five guys, $42. But hey, that was the only thing I bought on Sunday. I almost thought we were going to have a no spend day. <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> Monday, we filled up my husband's truck. So gas was $63. Um, and then I stopped at Nothing Bunt Cakes. Because I love them. And they have a gluten-free one. And it's so good. So good. Um, and I, but I had one free. I filled up enough of their punch card that I got one free. So I bought one for my husband and one for myself. They're $5 a piece and I got one free. So it only cost me $5. Yay, I saved. <laughs> oh, it was so good though. I ate mine that night. My husband waited like two more days and I was like, how can you resist? I just, how, how? Okay, Tuesday, uh, Target, I spent $65. I don't even remember what. My guess is food. Oh, toiletries. That's what I needed. <laughs> Do you ever like, what did I spend money on? Like when it's boring stuff, you just don't remember. Toiletries. I had to buy Kleenex. I'm a puffs girl. I like puffs with lotion. Kleenex. I shouldn't even say Kleenex. It's nasal tissue or facial tissue, whatever. Because I don't like the Kleenex brand. I like the puffs brand better. Come at me. Come at me. Like, I know Kleenex dominates the market. I'm a Puffs girl. Um, $50 donation. We did another private donation. I don't always share who we donate to just because we're giving people. And sometimes it's just, just to help someone out. Sometimes it's an organization. I'm not looking for credit. So, we did a $50 donation. Caribou. Seven dollars that was for my husband. He had to work a 16 hour day that day. And Caribou is a chain coffee place here, so most people know Starbucks, Dunkin', etc. Caribou is huge in Minnesota, they're based out of Minnesota. Wednesday, <laughs> we are of the kind that celebrate Thanksgiving. It is the night before Thanksgiving where all the people from all the lands come out to the local pub, bar, restaurant, and they have some drinks to ease themselves into the mood and giving of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Basically, a bunch of people go out and have drinks and have a good time before all the chaos of Thanksgiving or 
Black Friday or shopping or working, etc. Um, we sent $60, not too bad. We didn't eat there. We only had drinks. And then we were going to stop at this taco place, but we got there and they had to close early because they didn't have enough workers. So we ended up at Taco Bell and <laughs> spending $35. And uh, yeah, so drinks and Taco Bell. Sounds like a good night to me. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Now one would think, Tracy, this should be a no spend. Are you kidding me? There's so many good deals. Ah! <laughs> Um, I am a skincare girl. I love different skincare products. One of my faves is You To The People, and they had a 25% off everything on their site, which is a good deal. And I needed more moisturizer and I needed more face wash. So $67. I know it's a little bougie, but I love it. And I don't care. This is, this is my splurge. <laughs> This is my husband's splurge. This is my splurge, okay? Um, and then Joanne, I had to restock my happy planners for next year. I got the puppy theme. Spread some happy today. How cute. So this is the classic size. And then I also got the big size. Isn't it cute? Oh my God. Um, I use one for work, one for YouTube and tracking my spending, etc. So I think I'm going to use the big one for you too because the boxes will be bigger or I'll use the big one for work. I haven't decided yet, but I had to get both the puppy ones. <laughs> you notice how I said I had to, this was a need. This was not a want. This was needs. <laughs> All right. Friday gas for my car, which was $31. Our local um, grocery store, which is tied to a gas station had a special where gas was down to $2.99 if you went between certain hours. And then I also had gas rewards from shopping at that grocery store. So I paid $2.50 something a gallon and it was amazing. <laughs> Granted, there were lines because everyone was trying to get on this deal, but I don't care. Ulta spent $63. So same type of deal. There's just deals on things that on products that we use. My husband likes a certain hair care product and needed a restock. So I bought him some of that. And then they also had my favorite mascara on sale, which is the man eater one. And it was half off. So again, I, there's just good deals. There are things I'm going to spend money on anyway. So I might as well get them on sale because I use them. These weren't frivolous things. These were things I use every day. Well, if I do my makeup, then I use it. But my moisturizer and face wash, I use every day. <laughs> All right, hi V. This is grocery shopping, $142. This wiped up our grocery fund. So I technically don't have any more grocery money for the month. However, there's still three more days left next week. And I don't know if I'm going to make it. We'll see. <laughs> And then today, I'm recording, no, it's Sunday today, yesterday, Saturday, whatever, Saturday the 26th, I spent, we had a birthday party for my husband's friend slash freshman college roommate that we're still friends with. We do board game nights with them also, and it was at an Irish pub, and that was 120 bucks for food and drinks, and we bought him drinks and other people drinks, and it just adds up. And then Harry and David, <laughs> my husband, the only thing he asked for Christmas were Harry and David's milk chocolate truffles. So I bought the big pack, the 50 pack and to ship it. Oh my gosh. Like the shipping was like $16. I got 15% off, but it didn't really cover much. It covered taxes. So it was a lot. 50 bucks, but it's his favorite thing, and that 50 should honestly last probably the whole year because he only eats little bits here and there. But that's it. That was my spending for the week. That was my happy mail, and we'll see you guys Wednesday. Remember, my giveaway winners are announced on Wednesday. Last time to um, enter, if you're interested, is by Tuesday the 29th at noon Central Standard Time. So, bye guys.